2025 Forerunner is coming out. And you know I'm an old German hoe. All right, I'm a German luxury hoe that likes her gas tank on the passenger side. But ooh, baby, that Forerunner is looking real 1989, 1990 to me. I don't hear nobody out there. Look, I know some of y'all is over here by happenstance. You see the title and you like, ooh, we got action. But what actually is happening over here is that we're reading books. And then I provide my commentary that can sometimes be funny. It can sometimes be serious. Oh, and if you don't know, I am from Washington, D.C., the old D.C., Chocolate City, and I have a somewhat thick D.C. accent, so I do pronounce words with R's in them very funny. We don't read the whole book because, like I always say, I ain't about to get a copyright for none of you. In the comments, my commenters provide their corrections to whatever it is I say, or they give additional commentary on what was said or read in the book. Okay. All right. If you're enjoying yourself, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. You subscribe. Shut up, Lou. Oh, and I got a dog named Lulu. He uh, snores. Okay, that's not no old man or no old lady in the background snoring. That is my dog, Lulu. I know I'm 53 this year, so uh, a lot of times I go to the left. That's what happens. I go to the left, and then I forget where I, I'm going, but eventually I find my way back to where we're trying to be. This book club, we have paid members. They get some information before the subscribers do. Oh, that's what I was saying. I told y'all eventually I get back to where we supposed to be. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, comment respectfully, and tell a friend about us. Let's continue reading Faith Evans. Keep the faith. And I know it seemed to happen really fast. And I know what you probably think of me. But it's not that way. I was raised in the church and still make sure I'm there every Sunday. And I know Chris has a daughter and I respect that because I have a daughter too. You can ask Puff and Mark and all those guys about me and they'll tell you that I'm a good person. I'm just hoping we can figure out a way for you to get to know me. Admirable. Faith, I'm glad you talked to me, Faith, Miss Wallace finally said in her Jamaican accent. But why didn't you come to me sooner? Big didn't want me to meet you, I said. I'm not sure why. At this point, Big appeared in the hallway with a sheepish, guilty look on his face. I should strangle you, she said to him. Why would you keep this girl from me? I was immediately comforted by his mother's demeanor. She wasn't mean at all. She was no nonsense and serious, but she was also warm and motherly. Big and I had crossed several hurdles within a week or two of being married, but we hadn't managed to set up house together. I still had my apartment in Jersey, yet I spent more time in that tiny cluttered back bedroom with Big. After we'd been married for a few weeks, I'd had enough of spending the night there. I hated commuting back and forth from Jersey and I told Big we needed to move in together. Okay, find a place around here, Big said, but not too far. I rolled my eyes. Of course not, not too far from your beloved Brooklyn. Child, my girlfriend going through that right now. Everywhere they live cannot not be in walking distance from the hood. You know what that means? Everywhere they live 
is in the hood. One morning I came into the offices and headed straight to the promo room where they kept all the posters and new music. That was usually where I went to use the phone. I was trying to find out when I could pick up my first new car, a Toyota Land Cruiser. I'ma tell y'all again, that 2025 Forerunner is coming out. And you know I'm old German hoe. All right, I'm a German luxury hoe that likes her gas tank on the passenger side. But ooh, baby, that Forerunner is looking real 1989, 1990 to me and i want some of it when i was done taking care of business i saw misa sitting in an office across the hall i went over to say hello and noticed she was talking to another young woman a new bad boy employee named cheryl flowers cheryl was going to manage the various producers who worked for bad boy including chucky thompson nashim myrick and a duo known as Tone and Poke. She didn't even know that I was signed to the label. She thought I was just hanging out. I didn't look like a star. My hair was dyed blonde, but cut into a short natural hairstyle. And I didn't dress the part of a recording artist yet. I was still mostly a new wife and mother who worked in the studio and was trying to get my home life together. Ms. Wallace put me in touch with a realtor who sent me to look at a few places in Brooklyn for rent. Okay, so all these places that she looked at was an absolute no-go, okay? She found one place that was too small, another place that was okay, but she wasn't trying to deal with the Mises. I was the frustrated when one of Miss Wallace's good friends told me about an apartment for rent in Fort Greene on the corner of Myrtle and Carlton, right near the Fort Greene projects. I was two, it was two decent size bedrooms and two bathrooms with large windows facing Carlton Avenue. It was larger than anything else we'd seen and it was on the ground floor. The rent was about 1500 a month, which was a good amount of money back then, but it was something we could afford. It was behind a grocery store, which scared me a bit because I didn't want to deal with mice. But I was still ready to set up house, so Big and I made plans to move in. We needed a couple of thousand dollars to move in and buy furniture. I had some of it. And Big told me to get whatever else I needed from Lance on Rivera. Lance Rivera was one of Big's friends from Brooklyn. I didn't know too much about him, but I remember he had a really nice apartment over on Washington Street. What the hell? That sound like, uh, Un is, is that nigga. Okay, that maybe Biggie works for. Okay, give my wife whatever it is she want, you know I'll work it off. That would it sound like to me. Un lived close to Miss Wallace. When I was over there, sometimes we'd go by and my daughter China would play with his young son. After Big signed with Bad Boy as an artist, he and Un decided to start a label. They secured a label deal with Atlantic Records. And the first group they signed was Junior Mafia. I went to Un and got 30 grand. Why you need that much money, girl? What the fuck? You ain't even gonna pay that much in rent in a year. The hell you need that much money for, girl? That means your husband gonna have to work that money. Ain't nothing in your mind said, girl. I know you ain't thinking these readers thinking that that ain't no drug money mixed in there, girl. The hell you need $30,000 for to live in a $1,500 a month apartment? I went to Un and got 30 grand. I think this money was part of the advance they got from the new Undies record label. Okay. With that money, I put down the security deposit and paid a few months rent in the apartment. Okay, okay, pretty smart, pretty smart. Big's 
single Juicy had dropped by this time and he was starting to become more and more known. When China was back in Jersey, I tagged along with Big occasionally to some of Junior Mafia's recording sessions. I was also spending more and more time at the Hit Factory writing and recording tracks for my own album. By September, Big's debut album, Ready to Die, was about to be released. There was a lot of anticipation for the record. Most of the songs had popped up on a few mixtapes that were being sold on the streets. DJ Enough, a popular DJ on New York's Hot 97, got hold of the entire album and played it on repeat, which led to a huge buzz. So there was a time where DJs controlled the stations. Now it's like you have more sponsors, more commercials than anything. It was like the DJs played what they wanted to play. Now, child, I don't know. I think it's some computer generated numbers that picks the music and they play that music all day, every day. There's no variation. But I haven't listened to the radio in a long time and it's mostly because it's just more sponsor commercials than music, okay? And I think that's part of the reason why people don't even listen to the radio no more. There was a time where if a DJ was feeling something, he would put it on the radio, which attributed to payola, okay? Because that's how they said Cardi B got her start due to payola. But say what you want to say, that Bodak Yellow was hot. Even though he was getting recognized more and more and his album was being critically acclaimed, I'm not sure how much money Big really had back then. I bought him a lot of clothes, Coogee sweaters, Timberland boots, whatever he needed. That's why I said previously, I don't know why Miss Wallace was acting like her ninja was a come up. He ain't had no money. Faith had the money. It was a come up for Big, not Faith. Soon after his album dropped, Big had an autograph session scheduled at a record store in the West Village. And I was trying to convince him to change up from the flannel shirts he wore all the time out of habit. Went to a big and tall shop and got him a silk short sleeved shirt. Will you wear it? I asked, holding it up. Big just shrugged, looking at the shirt kind of worriedly. Clothes were function as far as he was concerned. He wasn't really trying to be fly, not yet anyway. Pause. Remember, Faith is just average. That's what she said in the book, not me. But she tried to put her ninja on, a, on another level. So Faith, you can say, is responsible for creating the image. I proceed. But when I went to the record signing, sure enough, Big was wearing the shirt I bought him. And it looked good on him, too. I sat nearby as he autographed CDs and posters inside the store. As soon as Big's album dropped, it seemed like our lives started moving on fast forward. The source published a story on Big, as did the LA Times and a few other notable media outlets. And we started getting a lot more attention when we went out. Hey, do my favorite go-go song. <clears throat> Taking a ride on the east side. Made a left on MLK. What a beautiful day, what a beautiful day. Riding high on the west side. Looking for a hood where to play. Won't you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? Hey, taking a ride. Hey, hey, on the south side. Ooh, ooh. Hey, 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 hey. We like that good. Say, 